In this video, we're going to have a look at adding Likert questions into a form on Microsoft Forms. And these are used where you want to gauge opinions and thoughts about a number of different options very quickly within a form that you're going to send out. So just like any other question type, I want to be clicking on Add New. And then I can't see it currently in my list, but if I do click on the drop down, you can see I've got Likert there. And it gives me a bit of an idea about the sort of question I'm going to ask. And this is really great, like I said, to ask a number of very quick questions very quickly so that anyone who's filling in your feedback doesn't get tired before the end of it. So I'm going to click on it and you can see here it's very similar to move a question types. I need to pop in a title. When I've entered my title, I can add media, just like I can with loads of mover questions. And now I've got the opportunity to add my statements and select the sort of ranges and the feedback that I'm after. So my statement one is going to be the date and the time. And statement two, I'm going to put location. So this is all about an event. I want feedback about some quick thoughts on some of the bits and the speakers. And then I want to change my options. So you can do this however you want and you can have more options if you want to by clicking on the plus. But I'm just going to say very satisfied. And then just as soon as I start to put in one option, it's going to suggest a load of great options for me to go in. So it's less typing for me and less thinking about. So my option two then is going to be somewhat satisfied. I can click on option three. So neither satisfied. And then I'm going to go for somewhat dissatisfied and finally very dissatisfied. So I can dis define them to be whatever I want, but what Forms is going to do is it's going to help me try and put these into place. And I do have my rubbish bin as well. So you can change the terminology if you want to, but it's going to help me work through this. So I've got my buttons. I just don't forget if you click away at any point, you're going to come away from the question. So you just need to click back in. I just want to show you down the bottom we've got required so I can mark this as mandatory and just let's have a quick look in my three dots what I can do with this type of question so I can add a subtitle and I can also add branching so have a look at a separate video to see what branching options I might have available from this type of question.